Yashar Jasher 69. And the king of Edom died in those days, in the eighteenth year of his reign, and was buried in his temple, which he had built for himself as his royal residence in the land of Edom. And the children of Esau sent to Pethor, which is upon the river, and they fetched from there a young man of beautiful eyes and comely aspect, whose name was Shaul. And they made him king over them in the pal place of Shamla, rather Samla. And Shaul reigned over all the children of Esau in the land of Edom for forty years. And when Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, saw that the council which Balaam had advised respecting the children of Yashadael did not succeed, but that still they were fruitful, multiplied and increased throughout the land of Mitzrayim, then Pharaoh commanded in those days that a proclamation should be issued throughout Mitzrayim to the children of Yashara'el, saying, No man shall diminish anything of his daily labor, and the man who shall be found deficient in his labor, which he performs daily, whether in mortar or in bricks, then his youngest son shall be put in their place, and the labor of Mitzrayim strengthened upon the children of Yashara'el in those days. And behold, if one brick was deficient in any man's daily labor, the Mitzrim took his youngest boy by force from his mother and put him into the building in the place of the brick which his father had left wanting. And the men of Mitzrayim did so to all the children of Yashara'el day by day, all the days for a long period. But the tribe of Levi did not at that time work with Yashar'el, their brethren, from the beginning. For the children of Levi knew the cunning of the Mitzrim, which they exercised at first toward Yashar'el.